work is that we ended up having a horrendous death. We had 30 some odd thousand people die. Their death rate is about 1,600 per million, the highest in the country, eight times worse than Florida, 10 times worse than Texas, even now with the surge in Texas and Florida. So I don't think there's a lot in New York that we can look to and say, oh, that's what we should model after. In fact, I really think uh, Governor Cuomo ought to be impeached for the worst public policy, public health decision, maybe in a century, sending patients with coronavirus back to nursing homes. So I don't think there's anything to be lauded up there. But I think the one story people are missing is amidst this resurgence or surge in the disease, New York has very few deaths and very few new cases. It has nothing to do with the lockdown. I believe that it has a great deal to do with the level of immunity they've achieved. I think about 25% or so of New York City is now immune, and I think that is slowing down the progress of the disease. I think it has little to do with human or government behavior, but it has a lot to do with immunity. Stockholm is about the same in Sweden, and so you have uh, northern Italy is about the same, areas where you've had a... a good Isn't it interesting, and I congratulate Mr. Paul, Senator Paul, for calling for Cuomo's impeachment. But he murdered thousands of elderly people. He murdered them. It was as if he sent them to a gas chamber or the electric chair. And this guy has the nerve to sell a poster for $14, and I'm talking about El Duce Cuomo, with his mountain of BS in the, fo in the uh, poster. How we flattened the curve. And uh, we did this. You know, we don't have enough ventilators. This guy's a criminal. If anybody looks into what he's done with taxpayer money, the malfeasance can't be circumcised. There's no end to it. Whether it's the Buffalo Billions or a million other dirty deals that he's done. This guy is all about finding ways to stick money in his pocket. And he doesn't care who he kills. He needs to go to jail.